Hello and welcome to Baggy's The Sims 4 Custom Content. In this series I show you everything I made for The Sims 4. As my erasable clips from last week were very well received in The Sims 4 community, I decided to make some more. This time I unlocked, recolored, lowered and even rotated a cliff rock from the Jungle Adventure game pack. Therefore this game pack is required for the mod to work. From the 4 rocks you see right here, the two full size rocks can only be downloaded by going to the video description and therefore are my YouTube bonus rocks. Before giving some more information on how to use all of these rocks, let me first show you how to find them in game. To easily find all jungle adventure rocks, type JA rocks without any spaces in between into the search bar. You can also find them by going to the outdoor section in build mode by clicking the tree icon and after that clicking the rock icon. They can be recognized by the outdoors icon in the upper left corner and my baggy given icon in the lower right corner. Of course the thumbnails will show the rocks too. When taking a closer look at those thumbnails you will see two of them with the number 180 and the degrees icon behind it. Those two rocks are exact the same as the other two in between them, but vertically rotated 180 degrees to create totally new rocks. The color stripes from all of these new jungle rocks compared to those of the others will contain two more recolors, which I will be showing you right now. The image shows you all the recolors of the raceable jungle cliff with a matching base game rock beside it. All other rocks in this pack will contain the exact same recolors too. These last three large rocks have the standard jungle cliff recolors. The last two can be matched with all mossy rocks, but the first one is a totally new one which can't be perfectly matched with the other rock recolors I made before. When placing the raceable rocks, you will notice that their footprint is incredibly large. This is because of the part of the rock that's still hidden below the ground. To raise these rocks out of the ground, you first need to activate the move objects on cheat. To do this, press Ctrl Shift C and type bb.moveobjects on into the cheat bar. Hit enter to activate the code and hit the escape key to close the cheat bar. Now select the rock and tap or hold the number 9 key to raise the rock to the preferred height. If you want to lower it again, tap or hold the 0 key. Just as with the former raisable cliffs, you need to keep in mind that if you raise the footprint above your sims head, your sims will walk straight through the cliffs instead of around them. But in the case of these raisable rocks, it might be better to raise them that high, as if you don't, your sims will walk all around that large footprint which looks a bit strange. If you place two of them right next to each other with overlapping footprints, your sims won't be able to walk in between them either. So here I raised both of these rocks, so the footprint will be above my sim's head. As my sim will now walk straight through the rocks, I will use these plants to block my sim's route and to make everything look a bit more natural. When commanding my sim to walk from one side to the other, where walking in between the rocks would be the shortest route, he will do this without walking straight through them. Besides the raisable rocks, the normal full size rocks can also be raised out of the ground. But just as for all objects, there's a maximum height which you can see right here for both rocks, where the full size rock can even be made floating in mid air. Because of this, you can also make some nice looking cliffs where your sims can walk underneath. Decorate it with some plants and some of my animated animal mods and you can make yourself a new lot to explore in no time. Curious about the other mods I used in this scene, then take a look at the video description for some video links to those mods too. If you like these unlocked and recolored raceable and normal jungle cliffs, please give this video a thumbs up and share it so more people will be able to find it. A download link can be found down below in the description. Subscribe if you don't want to miss my future custom content videos, tutorials and effect player episodes and then hope to see you all back here on Baki Gaming.